Welcome back to Okay Lovers, it's your boy Daydreams, and it is 4 in the morning, but I just had to make this video because I keep getting messages asking about rallying, and I get a lot of people saying to me, don't send infantry in rallies because they just die, and that is correct, they do die, but here's the thing, if you don't send infantry, let's say, I'm going to go to like rally information because we're rallying some this will work out because we're rallying some of these dragons for the event so if you're rallying and with these it doesn't matter you don't need to send guard because they're not an attack unit so it's not necessary but let's say these uh everyone sent these layers um to a normal battle the thing is let's say your whole team no one sends uh t7 guard t6 noble swordsman or t10 berserker if they don't do that, then double your halberdier are going to die. Now let's say everyone's sick of losing halberdier and pikemen. T9 halberdier, T8 pikemen, and T5 pikemen. Let's say everyone's sick of losing them because they're losing you can double. If you don't send those, you're going to lose triple the knights. So the, the less front line you send, it's just hurting the rest of the troops. And if you just send all siege or all archers in siege, those archers are going to get smashed. So just trust me on this from someone who has experienced this for a year and a half on this game i used to only send archers and trebuchet and i used to laugh at the other people whose troops were dying so eventually i you know thought i was some genius leader and i said listen everybody don't send any infantry and then when i we sent no infantry i noticed that i started taking losses on the archers and i was like okay so something's going on here so it's just like a normal battle if you don't send front line then everyone's gonna die so I'm gonna make something real simple. I'm gonna come up with like a, a scale of what you should send. If you're hitting in a rally a person at around 1 million power, and let's say there's around 8 to 10 people in the rally, you're gonna want to all send around 1,000 T7 guards. So that's 10,000 T7 guard up front. That'll be your sacrifice. Everybody shares the losses. That's how we do it in LOK. Everyone's always sharing the losses. We don't have any one person that takes all the losses because that's just not fair. We split it up amongst everybody and if someone doesn't send infantry we get on that person and uh, they learn real quick that if you're going to be an LOK and you're going to be rallying then you have to share in the front line infantry you have to send pikemen and you have to send knights uh, you can't just send ranged units archers and trebuchet and cavalry archer because that's just not fair to the player because let's say nobody sends any front line swordsmen t7 swordsmen or t10 and let, let's say one person sends like 5k well that 5k is going to get wiped out plus some pikemen and halberdier but if everybody just sent 1000 each and then you're going to be okay so let's get back to the range of um rallying so let's say you're rallying someone around 2.5 million power send around 2000 um guard a piece for every 2 million power increase so from one to two and then up to four you're going to send around four four thousand guard if you're rallying a target at around 10 million power, you're going to want to each send around 10,000 T7 guard. When you're hitting a target that big, you have to understand that the sacrifice is bigger. So you're going to raise it 1,000 swordsmen every 1 million power. So if you're hitting a 20 million power castle, everyone's going to have to send 20k T7 guard each hit. And it'll work perfectly. I promise you this is the best way to do it. And then just send a normal there. And if everyone's... Um, sharing the losses then not just one person is going to come back from the battle with a million power loss because they lost all their front line i don't think it'll be that devastating a million power but they'll lose a few hundred thousand while everyone else takes hardly any losses and it's just not fair a very a crazy story one of the members who went to ary they actually quit lok because i got on them because they were only sending uh they didn't send any infantry in the rallies and they thought that they were smart they were showing their battle reports and bragging about it and i actually got in that person's face no matter how much power they had and i said look dude you're not good at the game you're just letting other people take the power losses while you sit back and uh stack power and that person actually said to me that they don't care um you know basically like these other players are pawns and he's not going to sacrifice his power for anybody so it was at that moment i knew that that person wasn't right for lok because it doesn't matter if you're the lowest power player in the alliance or the highest power player in the alliance everybody shares the losses equally so that's the reason 
I don't think you should really send T10 Berserker in rallies. If you're level 30, I think it's best just to send T7 um, Guard because they're cheaper, they're faster to make, and um, there's no sense in sacrificing all those Berserker. Unless you have a lot of people sending them, it's not worth it. Maybe mix like half Berserker, half T7 Guard. That might be a good idea, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of people have been making this mistake when rallying. You want to make it like a normal lair. You want to have a complete troop composition. You know, if your skills are into cavalry, put a lot of cavalry in there. Um, cavalry, siege, infantry. And uh, mix some archer in there because on rallies, archers aren't too bad. Especially the T9 archer and the T7 archer. They're pretty good at rallying. Um, but yeah, I just had to make sure you guys do that. Also, when you see a battle report and it says like the... Um, rally rally your skills you don't get those skills in the rally unless you are the one um, initiating a super rally and then it goes by the rallyers statistics but if you're not running a super rally it goes by your individual statistics so make sure you have your buffs on when you're rallying now it doesn't matter when you're rallying these monsters like I am right now I'm just trying to get I'm trying to get prestige badges because I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys something really cool here in a second Give me just a second to join these rallies and I'm going to show you guys something really cool. And after you see it, you'll know that there's going to be a uh, there's going to be a video posted tomorrow. And it's going to be a pretty fun video. Do you see what that says? That's 80% to 80% um, to Prestige 4. I have the badges to go 90% and then I only need about 100 badges to top it off and get that Prestige 4 castle. And then um, hopefully within the month we'll be hitting that prestige 5 and we'll be going around smashing everything. You know how we do. And imagine me with a uh, prestige 5 castle. It's going to be deadly. It's going to be very, very deadly. But uh, we're just going to keep rallying these monsters and stuff now. Um, let me know in the comments what your alliance does for rallying. Because you want to get together with your alliance and tell everybody, listen, we have to come up with a system for what front line to send so make sure everyone's sending for whatever power level the castle you're hitting if you're hitting a 1 million power everyone send 1000 t7 guard if you're hitting a 5 million power everyone send 5000 t7 guard you have to take the sacrifice everyone's going to lose the same amount of power it's not going to be a big deal and if you send the right amount of t7 guard i promise you you will not lose very many of your other troops so that's why you want to use a lot of speed ups on your front line um, infantry and knight because they die the most uh, just because of the way the layering works and since they die the most you're going to want to retrain a lot of those so you definitely want to keep training your t7 uh, your t7 guard and uh, once you get to t10 train the berserker so i hope this helps even if you're level 16 castle uh, you can use the t6 noble swordsman and since you're not going to be rallying very big castles at that stage, you can maybe send like 500 noble swordsmen, 200 noble swordsmen. If you're hitting a 200k power castle, everyone send two, uh, 200 noble swordsmen at front, and then everyone takes very little power loss. But this is something very important that a lot of people do not understand. They think that you should just send ranged units and siege, and I promise you if everybody sends archers and siege, they're going to get demolished. Uh, Unless you're hitting weak castles, of course if you're hitting weak castles it's not going to matter. But go ahead and send, I'd love to see an Archer and Siege, um, an Archer and Siege layer hit me on my castle with um, a properly, you know, I have proper defenses so it's going to get creamed. And uh, I don't care if it's a super rally or anything, it'll get creamed, I promise you that. You have to have a proper front line to rally. It's just like a normal attack, remember that. A rally is just a bigger normal attack. It's the same algorithm and it um, it's the same thing. The statistics work the same as a normal attack. It goes by your um, attack. So just wanted to make sure you guys, I, I just drive it home and uh, make sure you guys understand that. Um, share this video with your alliance members so that way they understand that you guys are all working together that's what alliance is about and if one or two people are taking all the losses it's just not fair and a lot of people will say well i don't have any infantry because i've been losing them in the rallies well if everyone shared the front line then you would still have infantry so make sure you guys share the losses with each other if you uh, don't want to share the losses with your alliance 
then you don't deserve to be in an alliance. You should be out on your own if you uh, think you can do it all on your own. So I really want to drive that home and make sure you guys understand that. It's something that's very important. Let me know what kind of um, goodies you guys have been getting from these uh, from these dragons and the Russian doll event in the comments because um, I've been getting good stuff from the dragons. I've been getting a couple badges. Um, so it's been okay, but um, supposedly Clash of Kings is going to be adding more badges in the future. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking very much forward to that. Um, so I hope you guys appreciate this little video about rallying. Remember, you can just send the same layer from all the troop composition videos I've made. Uh, you can send the same layers as you normally would on a normal attack, but just make sure you're all sharing the losses. Sharing is caring, and that's what an alliance is for. So I appreciate you guys for watching the videos, supporting the videos. Remember that hitting that like button down there, it really, really supports the channel. It's the number one thing you can do to uh, show me support. We're a small community in Clash of Kings. We have to stick together. And I'll see you guys later on tonight. Um, I'll be doing a couple of war videos. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.